Hello friends, welcome back. I'm finally here to finish up episode three of Life is Strange here just after episode four just launched. I sincerely believed I was going to get back and finish this episode very soon after my last uh, recording and it obviously just didn't happen. Sorry for having you wait so long. I do hope to dive into episode four real soon, but uh, hey, I'm finally here to wrap up episode three, and boy, there's a lot going on. Let's see how well I can remember what happened last time. So uh, let's see. We had um, a lot of hanging out with all the uh, vagrant kids in, um, in the woods. We uh, did some work again and got paid at the weed farm. Uh, Daniel practiced his, uh, before that, Daniel practiced his power. And then we went to get paid and Daniel kind of uh, misbehaved a little bit and revealed his power to all the other folks in our little work camp. That led to uh, the nice, but maybe not quite so wise headed Finn suggesting that we use Daniel's power to uh, get some extra money from our employers, which I said, pardon me, I said no, no, no to. Um, and then I had an evening, some intimate moments with Cassidy, right? And then at a certain point, it turned out that Finn and Daniel disappeared. Well, I think that's where we are. I hope I didn't forget anything critical, but I'm pretty sure that Finn and Daniel are doing executing on Finn's stupid half-baked plan and are on their way to the weed farm and probably things are not going to work out so great. Let's see if we can maybe stop them, catch up, maybe try to mitigate some of the damage, right? Whew, all right. The chilling conclusion. Here we go. Oh, boy. I'm excited about this. I literally have been wondering where this is going to end up for the last... Uh, is it has it been two, three months since I recorded? Oh, that's terrible. This okay, so I'm with Cassidy. Up. I told Daniel. Fucking Finn. I love these scenes with the Get flashlights. Now. We got shit to do now. That's not easy to do, by, <laughs> by the way. Happens. Fuck me. To so get good okay. animations that get include a light source. Thanks for coming with me, Cassidy. Don't thank me. I'm gonna kick nice, myself. <laughs> Cassidy's gonna kick his butt. Are we at the farm or where are we? We were talking about. Can't believe it. Maybe We're finding one of what? the trucks that Ten minutes? takes us there? Twenty? Shh, don't tell her. We don't want Big Joe to see us. Okay, uh, Spado? Good, good old Big Joe. Somebody build a lock. Of course. We probably gotta check a car. Telekinetically? Oh, hey, I got a haircut, by the way. One truck is missing. It's a pretty good looking haircut, see? but... Those tracks are I think out. I kind of pissed Fuck. off Daniel when I decided At to do that. didn't wake Big Joe up. It's probably but a bad choice. He'll kill us, Sean. So let's not advertise. No lights, no noise. I'll check the car, you do the truck. Just curious, wait. Which truck? Can I actually get into this truck? I would want to... That guy's... Try the vehicle doors. Okay, let's Quick. see. Oh, wait. Cassidy's coming this way. Is she going to try this one? Oh. Uh, I'm stuck. Sean, nope. All right, check the car. All doors locked. Of course. Yes. Keep looking around. They're both trucks, right? Figures. Check the other door now. Yes, sir, Sean, sir. I'll check the other door. What are the chances? 
Maybe the car then? I mean, I was going to say, who's going to come and steal your car yes. here in the middle of the woods? Check it but out. But, might be me. So, all the doors are locked. But, we just got to get into one car. And, I think I can get that truck started. You shitting me? Ah, uh, Daniel dad has some, was a some background. He once showed me how to hotwire his tow truck. Just in case. Sean Diaz, you're full of surprises. I like how they're putting that knowledge to use. Mess with all the other cars, so Big Joe can't follow us. A little Luckily, reminiscent of um, find some things Before the Storm Episode up. 3, maybe? But we can't make a sound. I can wreck that engine. If I can open the hood. Wrecking the engine is it's a weird way to, to put it. Something to slash these. Wait. Oh, we're gonna keep his car from I get it. I get it. Alright. Tools. Do they let me move fast? Oh, they do let me move fast, but not a whole lot faster. Seems useful, but mm. loud. Nice. In the back pocket. Oh, Big Joe's house. He's just right over there. Uh huh? This plan is crazy. crazy. Hurry up, Sean. What do we got? What do we got? Nothing over here, man. Okay. Don't be loud. Doesn't open? There might be keys inside. Okay. Keys inside the lockbox. Eco-friendly, my ass. They're just criminals. <laughs> Fuck. Guess we won't be working here anymore. Gotta be something here I can use. So fucking stupid. It's pretty stupid. I gotta say. Forget it. Okay. Screwdriver. Useful. Tape. Mm, I guess. Oh. Aha. Screwdriver. To pop that guy open. Yes. Aha, keys. Okay, so we're going to disable his pickup truck. I could maybe break the window. Just gotta get in that truck and start her up. Will the screwdriver work for that? There she blows. <laughs> I feel like you got to be pretty strong to do that, but maybe he knows right, right where to, how to get into that. Do I need to also do this? Tire's probably not enough. Oh, did I get it? Hmm. Take a few spark plug wires off. That'll do. Okay, he's not, not going anywhere. Now, motherfucker. <laughs> Careful. It's gonna break. Hmm? Oh, man, focus. We have to get into that truck. I could break the window, but I don't feel like I want to do that. It looks like the screwdriver didn't work on the door. That was a little unclear to me. Hmm. Do I not have the tool I need? I'm creeping out here. Are we gonna bust the window and make a anything useful in this junk? Escape later. Ooh, or make it. A, I was gonna say. Uh, let's, let's pop a few more tires. Doesn't hurt. Uh, so I wonder. Was wondering if we were gonna. Damn. 
That was fun. Have to make a bunch of noise, have him come out here and just barely... Oh, wait. That poison doesn't seem useful. What's in the locker? Quietly. No? Really don't want to break that window. Am I gonna have a choice? Get in there, fucker. Shit. Broken. I'm hearing like a heartbeat sound, and it's there just to make me anxious. Alright. I think it's gotta be the window. I'm gonna feel sad if there was some other option that I missed. Here goes. One, two. Yep. <laughs> Shit! He's fucking coming! Let's go! So, I still gotta like. <sighs> fuck, fuck. Hotwire fuck, this thing? Fuck. What the hell? Wires? He'll be on us in any second now. Fuck, Sean, you did it! Let's get out of here. Yep. Drive! Fuck this I thought shit. there might be a puzzle to actually do the hot so wiring. Close. I was like, how much time do I have? Let's do this. That was fun, though. I assume if I didn't disable the tr the pickup, that he would be after me. Or he'll show up later. So hopefully that worked out. We've got two tires and an engine to fix. I don't like this shit at all. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to get this over with. If we make it. Don't How say much that. trouble have they gotten into? Things can't go wrong after the night we've had. This is basic karma. Shit. Right. I want this to continue, Cass. We should go. They might not even be inside yet. I guess if they walked the whole way, then we should have been able to oh, catch up to him. Has he done this before? Fuck us over? Not like this. Why now? Because Finn thinks Daniel is his golden ticket. He just gets greedy and stupid. We gotta catch him. Okay, here we go. I hope Meryl didn't hear them. Yeah, we're pretty sure the Meryl guy is not nice. At the end of the day, not Come on. nice. Maybe we can stop them before they fuck up. There's a camera up there. Any chance I've... Hmm. Destroyed. Daniel's been here. Daniel's already broken it. I don't know if I'd say that's being smart or... Just making more trouble. All right, we're gonna head in inside, I assume. The greenhouse. Sean, we'll be fine together. Promise. How? What's Meryl gonna do if he catches them? Finn's a smart old shitter. He'll find a way out of this. I know. Probably true. Maybe not. They'll find a way out of it, but that he's a smart bullshitter. I think that's basically true. Anything of interest? Or are we just heading through here? I just here? don't know if we can ever trust Finn after this shit. I wouldn't. Hannah is gonna go ballistic. Guess you have to tell her too. Hell yeah. Good. At least Meryl won't know anyone's coming. Sure, as long as they found, got to all of them. I feel like I want to keep exploring. But... Doesn't seem to be much. They've got to be close. Just Wait. follow their trail. Mm, I guess the, that's maybe what the cameras are telling me. That that's their trail. And this is probably where head, they were heading. I think this is where we we got outside. I see them. Ah, oh, shit. You scared the shit out of me. Good. What the fuck? What are you doing? Didn't you tell him, Cassidy. This, man? Shh! You're gonna wake Meryl! Finn, no fucking way. Come on, Sean. Are you kidding me? How could you do that, Finn? 
And you're so fucking kid. He's nine years old. He asked me for it. I didn't force him, man. Are you an idiot? He's too young to make that kind of decision. Fuck's sake, Finn. He's an old soul. <laughs> he knows <laughs> what's up. <laughs> Shut up, Finn. Hold on. Please. Daniel doesn't know, need those ideas you're in his head. You're standing near a boatload of cash. We can do this in five minutes, in and out. Nope. And then nope. you're nope. off to Mexico. You won't hear about me ever again. We got this, man. Trust me. No means no, Finn. Meryl is right fucking there. Uh, he's a log. Won't even know. I want to help, Sean. We could get out of here. Go to Mexico. We'll go to Mexico. Don't need to endanger ourselves in the process. <laughs> so I have... <laughs> After all those objections, I have sort of told myself that I didn't want to play just the nicey-nicey version. But I just, uh, I think this is just dumb, is what it is. It's just dumb. He said no fucking way, Sean. Please. We're done, Finn. Come on, Daniel. No, why should I? We couldn't even find you before. You were with her, right? Who gives a shit? Let's go. Now. No, I'm sick of all this. For weeks, you just hang out with her. It's all your fault. I could do what I want. Crazy. Okay, I was a little. <laughs> as soon as I chose that, I was here? like, "Is that just gonna Shit. cause an argument?" Don't move. Don't shoot. What the fuck? How many are you? Just us. It's just us. All right. Move your essence over there. Now. Uh, Meryl. Uh, <laughs> boss. <laughs> I know this looks bad, but... Stop. I don't want to hear any more of your shit. So, what was your big fucking plan exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punks work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. God damn it, Finn, I told you- Shut up! This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? Uh, no, no, it's not about you. I thought you were different, smart, but you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. What now? You all really fucked up. I can't just let this slide. I can't. You're young, but you can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy. Or painless. Okay. On your knees. Hands on your head. Shit, don't do this. Don't. Come on, sir. We... We could talk. I'm serious. On your knees. Now. I don't think these two things are mutually exclusive, exactly. But I'm not gonna not do what he says. Do what he says. Don't worry. We're on our knees, okay? Meryl? No. <laughs> Finn! And Finn's gonna pick the it. other option. Don't break my balls and maybe get here. like, I don't know. Daniel. I feel like he's not just gonna shoot him, but he's. I mean, he might, but. Move. Just get on your damn knees! You're like, yeah, now! He can't do this. Don't uh. fucking move! It's not like I want to do this. The people I deal with are worse. But if you rip me off, you rip them off. It's then being I real vague about what he's going to do. I have a family to look after too. I got to protect them first. Can't 
let you play me anymore. You shall. We're gonna have to decide whether he uses his power or not, huh? Whoa! So many major choices. I think we're gonna use his power. Don't know what's gonna happen. It's probably not gonna be great. But I th I think in defense of our friends, it could just make things worse. But doing nothing isn't isn't gonna is not gonna work out either. He's clearly he's at least gonna beat the crap out of Finn. At least. Here we go. Daniel, do it! <laughs> Get out! Run! Oh, out, son of a bitch! Shine! He's got another gun. <gasps> Wait! Scott! <gasps> oh, no. Just get shot. No. Yep. No. Bad news, bad news. where Daniel's power really goes out of control are super cool. That's well done. Is that where we're ending it? Is that the end of the episode? Okay. It's probably not a lot more, right? Who else did he hurt? It looked like, uh, looked like the weed guy. Now I've forgotten his name already. Looked like the weed guy was knocked out. Was everybody knocked out? Who is that? open the safe and take off Banger. Oof. I things probably could have turned out. Well, I don't know. How differently do you think they could have turned out? There's. It 
feels like the f ending choices in a lot of these, uh, maybe even the ones in the middle, the, the major choices in list two, man, they they love to flip the consequences from what you expect. Because I, I think I expected maybe he'd hurt the guy with the gun a lot in trying to save the rest of us. But instead, or in addition, Daniel gets hurt and everything goes nuts. So when you're trying to contain the damage, it gets worse. Though I have to imagine, I have to imagine that every outcome has Daniel splitting from Sean. But maybe Sean could be more or less injured, I don't know. Hmm. Boy, well. It was definitely a great episode. I feel like they, they got to spend some time in one place get to know some characters which I think is a lot of the Life is Strange experience that uh, has been less emphasized earlier in this uh, series um, for good reason the um, characters were really interesting there were a lot of, it looked like a lot of different um, choices, you obviously could um, looks like end up sleeping with Finn or Cassidy you had a lot of choices of how to treat Daniel. I don't, I'm very, very curious to know what shape those would actually take in terms of the outcome. What else? I felt like some, you know, maybe about as many puzzles and um, gameplay, but they were nicely integrated. The, um, the campsite gave you a lot of like little jobs to do to uh, feel like you were kind of contributing and, and at the same time a lot of opportunities to um, interact with those folks sort of alongside uh, everybody in the camp. Um, I'm curious what's going to become of a lot of those characters um, and if they're likely to be ones that we meet again. Boy, that Gonzalo Martin is superb. Really, really good. Esteban. Oh, yeah, he was in the beginning of the episode. That's right, the episode started with a little flashback, didn't it? All these guys, all the folks at the camp were, I thought, pretty good. Anders and Ingrid. Yeah. Meryl. I don't know why that name doesn't stick. Cool. Ah, there's Phil Backey. He's the voice director. He was the voice director for Before the Storm as well, and the first season. I've probably said that before. Ooh. Well, very, very interested to see what's going to happen in episode four. Is it going to be a search for Daniel? Is it going to be... I mean, he's he's growing up. He's trying to push the boundaries. He probably now thinks he's to blame for everything. And now I think he's kind of, you know, probably feels like he needs to just take his situation into his own hands, and he's totally not ready for that. He's not. He's just not. Uh, so I guess we got to hope we get reunited with him as soon as possible. But probably a lot of this was inevitable. Uh, he's just been through too much, too much trauma. Both those boys have been. It's very, very hard to hold relationships together especially in moments of violence like that. I mean, you got to imagine, and, and I'm going to guess that the next episode will probably skip ahead a chunk, but 
what happens when everybody in that room wakes up? Assuming they wake up. I wonder how quickly we'll find out what happened to Cassidy and Finn and Meryl, but if I were to guess, I bet we don't start with Sean there. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. That could be an interesting scene. But I bet like most of the other episodes, we'll probably jump ahead and find out what kind of, find out what the immediate aftermath was through some, uh, through some early dialogue or interior monologue. Here's our friends at Square Enix in London. Lee and Bill. Raquel. Romaine. Roman, pardon me. John Eardley. Alejandro. Good job, Alejandro. Harley, Brighty. And the brand folks, John Brook, Roxanne, good job Roxanne. These are the folks who make all the cool trailers that you see, do all the communications, run the shows when they're out speaking, like the folks are at PAX right now. Saw Toby up there, of course, community guy. User research, these are the folks who uh, put our game in front of people early before we release to get some feedback and see what's working and what's not. Uh, I think this means we're coming to the end. Unreal 4. Cry movie. Cry where. Audio and video stuff. Wise is also audio. fonts for a game is really fun, really interesting. I wish I knew more about font design. It's really fascinating. When you really break it down, there's so many different qualities that fonts can have. Ta -da. Okay, let's see. How'd I do? I made coffee for the others after drinking the last cup. No. In the slight minority there. Hit the target while knife throwing. Yes! Wait! What? What? You could hit a bullseye? I forget. That was so long ago. Ah, oh, I missed a bullseye. Failure. Tried to be understanding when Daniel mentioned Karen. Refused to talk about finding Karen. Yup. Asked Daniel why he doesn't wear his watch. Intervened when Big Joe slapped Cassidy. I'm ashamed to admit I don't even remember that. <laughs> but I did the right thing, it sounds like. My trimming was average. What? Did I not do very well? I thought I did fine. I thought I did well. Hmm. Helped Daniel clean the dishes. I was sober at the campfire, apparently in the minority. Stayed up late and got a haircut. I'm in the minority there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that was necessary to get the uh, Cassidy and or Finn moments, but that's what I was <laughs> that's what I was angling for. To be honest, was <laughs> I wanted I wanted to make sure not to miss that opportunity. But I'm I'm now trying to remember because the timing turned out that I think it I think I hooked up with Cassidy much later, right? Um, Finn came forward when Daniel hit Big Joe. Oh, that's where, I think that was a moment when I had a choice to make and he either didn't show me a timer, but it actually was timed. That was an interesting choice. F uh, design choice there. I was out for the heist. 25% of people were in for the heist. I was eventually convinced, huh? We remained friends... Or I could kiss Finn. Didn't get a tattoo. Got a wolf tattoo. Let Cassidy choose your tattoo. I wonder what that looks like. 
Went to the lake and had a midnight swim with Cassidy. Yes, I did. Cassidy got angry at me. Huh. I don't remember what choices I had. I wonder how I... How I would have made her angry. Kissed Cassidy. Went into Cassidy's tent. Sabotaged Big Joe's vehicle so he wouldn't come after you. Wow, how would that ending sequence have worked out if he came after me? 14% found out. And you can steal a vehicle without alerting him. Cool. Huh. Huh. I wonder what I did. I miss a tool or something? I'd be very curious to know how that puzzle could have played out. Uh, but I like that there's that many different variations of it. That's cool. Snuck into Merrill's house without being noticed. 4% alerted Merrill while sneaking into his house. Oh, that must those must be possibilities if you went along with the heist. Came in after Finn and Daniel broke into his house. Okay. Took the gun from Merrill's safe. Didn't seem like that was an option. I could shoot. Oh, man, look at all these outcomes. It looks like they're very rare. Shoot Merrill and Finn was killed. Did nothing and Finn wasn't killed. Did nothing and Finn was killed. That makes sense. Cassidy was injured. 66%. Well, I'm not the only one. I wonder how... Oof. That's pretty cool. I'd actually be really curious to see the various ways that scene could play out. You know what? I've got a little bit of time. Should we go back in uh, collectible mode and make some other choices there just to see? All right, let me let me look through these here. Daniel waited for you in the morning. Waited for me in the... When was that? Uh, had help doing the dishes. He, oh, he might refuse your help. Daniel helped Sean carry the water tanks. Using his... Using his power? Did I ask him to use his power? I can't remember. Or he refused to help. It seems like he could be a real pain in the butt if he wants to be. Talked with Sean about his anger. Or Daniel went to sleep alone. Yeah. Ouch. Bad on me. Daniel used his power, got injured, and lashed out. It certainly seems like the most common outcome. Most people, looks like, relied on Daniel using his powers. Disobeyed and used his power and got injured. Stayed put, but lashed out after Finn died. Finn was shot dead, and Daniel lashed out at Sean. 2%. Whoa. Things could be very messy. What does the episode 4 title screen look like? Oh, wait. We have our teaser. This is it, son. You're toast. End of the road. No way out this time. We got a lot of room in jail for cop murderers like you. Oh. You're alone now. Alone. Great teaser. I love it. Ah, it looks so hot. They're in the desert. So if they're further south, they're in like Eastern California or like Nevada. Wild Mice Ranch? I don't, I don't believe that's the name of anything. Okay. Episode 4, Faith. All right, I'm curious. Oh, man, guys, I am missing so many collectibles. I don't know what I'm doing with collectibles. I either forget about them, or I just, like... Or I just have no idea where to look. I didn't check my, um... I didn't check my note, my uh, notebook, a journal. I should do that. 
use a different save slot. Now oh, let's just play it in collectible mode. Where is this going to start? About where I started? Or is this going to be at the... Oh yeah, this is the final scene. I don't like this shit at all. <sighs> yeah. I just want to get this over with. If we make it. Don't say that. Things can't go wrong after the night we've had. This is basic karma. That's a strange thing to Shit. say, isn't it? <laughs> right. Because karma always helps gas. out. We should go. They might not even be inside yet. Over? Not like this. Why now? Because Finn thinks Daniel is his golden ticket. He just gets greedy and stupid. We gotta catch him. Go fast. This is the speed run. Let's do speed run, everybody. I just don't know if we can ever trust Finn after this shit. I wouldn't. Hannah, is there another place go to go? Ballistic. Guess you have to tell her too. Hell yeah. She knows how to deal with his ass. Let's deal with this situation first. Like I could. <laughs> Shit, that should wake him up. Can we see through here. Come on. Maybe we can stop them before they fuck up. I assume I can't go any further. Oh, I can. Is any of this productive or is this just exploration? <laughs> Finn, I'm gonna kick your ass if Daniel gets hurt. Interesting, they let you go all the way around the building. But there's nothing to interact with. It's just this door. Hello, door. Open door. Ah, oh, shit! You scared the shit out of me. Good! What the fuck are you doing? Didn't we say Alright, what was the first thing? choice we got? You're gonna wake Meryl! Finn, no fucking Should we go way. along with it? Should we go along with the heist? John, are you kidding me? How could you do that, Finn? And you're some fucking kid. He's nine years old. He asked me for it. I didn't force him, man. Are you an idiot? He's too young to make that <laughs> kind of decision. Fuck's sake. Finn. Yeah, that's a really bad He's argument. He's an old soul. He knows That's what's a very up. bad argument. <laughs> Hold on, please. You're standing near a boatload of cash. We can do this in five minutes. In and out. And then you're off to Mexico. He thinks that Daniel you can open the safe ever again. I don't know with we his power. I mean, clearly he man. does at the very end. But Trust me. I don't think that's so easy with his no power. Means no. A safe is still Meryl is right tough. fucking there. He's a log. Won't even know. You asshole! I want to help, Sean. We could get out of here. Go to Mexico. It's interesting. He hasn't been that into going to Mexico, if I remember right. All right, should we make all the other choices? Opposite choices we made last time? Let's see what happens. Oh, fuck. Okay, <clears throat> yes, let's do it. Oh. Seriously? Yes, we have to do this. Else we're fucked. Just. Be your backup. Fuck you, Sean. Don't she leaves? touch me. Man. That's how she ends up unscathed. I See, this is that. Uh, this is. These are examples of. Hey. You think you're making the safe choice, fast. and it ends up getting people She'll more hurt. Down. That seems like a pattern in this, come back. in this Loaded whole series. We don't need her, Sean. We sneak in. Daniel opens the safe. We grab the money, then get the fuck out. Sound like a plan? It's not gonna work that way. This might be how I get the gun, though, huh?
Well, well, well. Yeah, that was easy. Come on in. Yep, they're all here. You were right. That makes sense. God damn, you little assholes had to fuck with my trucks. <laughs> Joe, watch those punks. I'll take care of these ones. Uh oh. All right. Move Joe your asses is over at there. the camp. I'm I guess Merrill. I should have thought of that. Uh, <laughs> boss. <laughs> I know this looks bad, but stop. I don't want to hear any more of your shit. So, what was your big fucking plan exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Uh, like I didn't know. Definitely not looking at Finn right now. I gave you punks work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? Uh, no, no. It's not about you. <laughs> I don't know what even that even means. It's not about you. I thought you were different, smart, but you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. What now? What do you think this you game is really about? Education? <laughs> I can't just. That's what the Donut sign. guys like to say. I can't. Because it is. They like to say it's a young, game but about you education. Can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy or painless. Okay. On your knees, hands on your heads. Don't do this. Don't. Come on, sir. We, we could talk. I'm serious. On your knees, now. Okay, I think discuss is a real bad option, but let's see what happens. Wait, let me explain. Oh yeah, explain this. Ah! <clears throat> That's about what I expected. Don't insult me by acting like you've got a reason to steal. Don't! For the last time, get on your fucking knees. Meryl? No. Don't break my balls now, kid. Daniel, you got this. Don't move. He can't do this. Don't ah. fucking move. It's not like I want to do this. The people I deal with are worse. But if you rip me off, you rip them off. Then I pay. I'll lay back, right? I have a family to look after, too. I'm sure he's got... <laughs> I'm sure there's... I gotta protect them first. Much more questionable people in other parts of the whole supply chain. Can't let you play me anymore. When did they determine this is this is pre-legalization? Because there was something about how legalization was gonna mess up their whole business or something. Alright. What happens if I do nothing? No, don't move. Please, boss. I know. I got greedy. I, I was high. Stupid. I, I I'll make it up. I know, Finn. Gonna shoot a dude in front of a nine year old kid? Go away! <gasps> oh, let Get out! Go! Oh, out, son of a bitch! <gasps> Wait! Stop! Yeah, the same way? Yeah. <sighs> so mostly the same. Except Cassidy got it. So I assume the other versions happened if you actually go along to heist. <laughs> this is so cool. Great shot. Downward. All the shadows. Shadows are doing as much work as the objects themselves. Cool distortion effect. Neat. All right.
I assume the rest of it's basically the same, except no Cassidy. Uh, but it won't let me... won't let me skip it. Alright, friends. That was fun. Very much looking forward to this thing here. Episode 4. Might have the opportunity... Ah, uh, I shouldn't say it. I shouldn't say I might have the opportunity to start it in the next couple days. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But, um, but soon. And it should be a good time. I am really loving Life is Strange too. I love these good, good boys. And, boy, it's going to get rougher before it gets better, right? It's probably just going to be rough for the whole rest of the next two episodes. We'll see. We'll see. But, uh, oh, you hate thinking about the two of them separated. But it looks like that might be where they're at. All right, guys, as always, uh, subscribe if you haven't already so you know when the next episode is up. Check me out on Twitter at Deck9 underscore Floyd. Um, that's where I, you know, post all my thoughts about uh, video games. And uh, I also announce um, when new episodes are up there. And, uh, yeah, talk about you know, making video games, playing video games, and other random stuff like, you know, architecture and philosophy and stuff. So uh, if you don't follow me there, please follow me there. Um, definitely let me know in the comments what you thought of episode three and of that uh, final outcome. And hopefully we'll be talking soon about episode four, Faith. Can't wait. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I really had a great time uh, playing this episode. Sorry there was a long wait for this last small installment, but it was a good time. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>